Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today this video is on Popolo. Oh, does Popolo attract hummingbirds? We'll get back to that later. Popolo is a wonderful herb to grow, especially if you love cilantro and you can't grow it in the heat of the summer. Here in Southern California, it bolts and it goes right to seed. That is cilantro, but that was popolo seeds you saw. And you can sprinkle the seeds around when it's very warm and you'll end up with the tiny little ones growing. And that's a bigger one growing. And look at that. I have it growing in a container with some Swiss chard. It's very easy to grow. The only thing you have to really know is it needs a lot of warmth. It really likes very hot weather. It wants the nights to be above 60 and the days it really likes it above 80. You can sometimes start it when it's a little cooler. There is Popolo. I've got a bunch growing on my deck in a container. And look at that, so shallow. It's so easy to grow and they grow those beautiful round leaves and those are the leaves like a butterfly. That's where the name comes from that you eat. As it starts to grow and get a little older, in a month or two, it will start to develop flowers. And what you'll see is these little spears coming out that are green, there it is. And that is the start of the flower. It grows just like a dandelion grows. I, as far as the big surprise to me, and you can see it, I collect hundreds and thousands of popolo seeds, popolo can grow as a house plant, as long as you have a south facing window, someplace that's quite warm. All you need, and I've been doing it now, is some paper cups, some potting soil, and there's the seeds. The seeds look like a little spear with a little fuzz on the end, and that's what blows in the wind and takes it away. I leave that on. I do not remove that when I plant it. I'm not sure if it helps the seed or not, but we just leave it the way it is, and we plant it. But that is the seed, that long black spear. All you have to do is just make a little hole, just drop it in, and cover the soil back. Within a week or two, you will end up with popolo growing in your kitchen window or outside if you want to sprinkle it around the yard. The only problem is around the yard straight into your planters. When it first comes up, critters love eating the tiny, tiny plants before it gets its true leaves. Make sure when you're growing it in the house, you have good drainage. And yes, I use paper cups. And there it is. They'll start growing right away. Keep them in a nice sunny window. Don't let them burn, but just a nice window and hopefully they'll stay warm enough so they will grow into a beautiful plant. And once it starts developing the outer leaves, the round leaves, you can start using it when you want. I would like to get a little size like this one is perfect. You can start snapping off those round leaves. It is such a strong herb that I only use one leaf and Gary uses two or three. You don't need a lot of leaves to flavor your food. Now here in Southern California, where and I've been growing them, they tend to start growing really good at the end of summer. I've tried them sometimes in the beginning of summer, but we're just not warm enough. It tends to grow better when it gets closer to the fall. Now when they start to throw their seeds here in Southern California, I've noticed they don't even start to flower until October and November, and they will continue flowering many times well into December. I haven't had that many bees or butterflies come to the plant, so I'm going to have to say they are probably somewhat self-pollinating because there hasn't been a lot of insects on them at all, and yet the seeds have been viable and they grow when I plant them at the end of summer. The, but the bottom leaves, those are the first baby leaves, and that's what outside little predators in your garden will eat. But they don't tend to bother it once it develops the round leaves. I sit them and grow them in my kitchen window. I'll put the paper cup in, in a coffee cup so I don't get it wet all over as I water it. And it just grows beautiful in a sunny window. Or I put it in my little herb garden now, and they grow beautiful. All they need is a warm, sunny window to grow in. You can take them at that point and put them outside in the garden. It's easy to collect the seeds. Just collect some seeds when the plant has got the seeds fully brown. Don't pick them before that. Just grab them and pick them. Put them in an envelope, label it. And I have seed books now that I store them in. So it's quick to find in the middle of summer when I think it's time to grow. They grow when cilantro doesn't want to grow. Cilantro will bolt. And that's all it is. 
sits in the window and it does beautiful. Add it to your salsa that you make, anything you would put cilantro in. You can add one leaf, two leaves, three leaves. You don't need a whole lot. I will say that it does better as fresh. You can't really dry it, you lose the flavor, but you can, hint, put it in some ice cubes and freeze them in water and have them that way in the winter. So, does cilantro attract hummingbirds? No. The hummingbirds are coming to my bird feeders that are in the window. But they sure do like the feeders and they don't mind seeing a beautiful plant growing in the window. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody. That's broccoli. Let's see if she knows. <gasps> do you like papalo? It's not the papalo she wanted, it was the broccoli on the bottom. And then this is papalo. You know what's really good with this? You can take a piece like this, and let's say I don't have any papalo growing here. Just stick it in the ground. Now I don't even have to think about it. It's gonna blow right in this area and I'll probably have papalo coming up right there.